Here we are at our skills exercise. This one is a fairly simple circuit that's going to run a power cable to a switch box. That switch is then going to carry power to our light. Let's look at these plans really quick. The first page is going to cover an overview of this project. You see this mock-up with, with two junction boxes in place and the cables run into the boxes. It's also showing you the devices. One is a switch and one is a light. Page two, or on here it's called page one, so we went from cover page to page one. This is a simple schematic that's giving you colors of conductors and how they route to each junction box and how they connect to each device. We will refer to this as we go through this exercise. Page three is a little different here. What we're looking at is a plan view of this wall with all of the boxes in place and the cables shown and their routing, it's also giving you some information that is leading us into this uh, idea of plan reading. And you see at the bottom, you see some general notes that are going to cover everything in this specific exercise. You're also looking at a legend that's giving us ideas about different symbols and how to reference those. You see the symbols spelled out on the drawing here. So now you can use this one if you want to, to refer to the specific devices that are getting installed. Also the gauge of wire, a lot of information that you need is on this page. When you, oh, one other thing to mention on this page is there's a reference for A and B that's gonna be close-ups of those specific box uh, connections are going to be on these pages. So this is page A, it's gonna work you through the switch box and all of the connections that are gonna be made to this single pole switch. And then the next page is going to cover the specific conductors that are run to the light socket. So let's go ahead and get into this exercise. So here we are, I've got my boxes set. Next comes my cable. I'm gonna run my feed cable first. This is the one that's got power that we're bringing into the circuit. And I'm pulling this off of my coil and I'm gonna bring it in. I've got enough out that I can work with this cable. And I'm gonna go ahead and fasten this cable to my framing with my wire staple. I'm secured within 12 inches of the box. That's gonna bring power in. So I'm gonna cut this off of my, cape, my coil here. I have enough that I can then test the circuit later if I want. So now I need to run a cable from this box to this box. That's gonna carry power from here over to there. So I'll go ahead, I'm not gonna fish it through my box first because that's just gonna get hung up in there. So I'm gonna run it over to here. I need to pop out the knockout on this box. Any tool will do, it's an easy job. And once that's gone, I can fish this cable into my box. I like the knockouts that are close to my framing. It helps me with my staples. I leave enough out the front that I can then work with it later. I need another staple to secure this wire. And then we're going to, then we'll go ahead and run this cable into my other box. So any tool to cut this cable, I'm gonna pull enough that I have some to work with. That looks good. We could measure this with a tape measure, but we don't need to be that precise about it. So I'm gonna run it through my same knockout. It's gonna save me room in the box. And I also need to fasten this wire to my framing. And we can't put one, more than one cable under a staple. So I'm going to go ahead and use a different staple for this one. Both wires are secured basically in the center of my framing. That's where I want it. So this, according to my plans, is all of the cables I need to get the circuit done. Next step, we're going to strip the jacket off of the cables. I'm going to use my utility knife cutting down the middle. I don't have to carry my cut any further than that. I can peel this out and then separate 
all of this jacket and wrap from my conductors. And when I get those clearly separated, I can cut that jacket and leave about an inch inside of the box. So that's, this wire is my feed wire. I'm gonna do the same from, for this cable on this end. And when you get these separated, they should come right out. Make sure that you're not cutting any of your insulation on your conductors. Be very careful, or yourself. Obviously, you don't want to cut yourself. So there we have both of those conductors are ready to go. We can now strip those ends later. I have one more jacket to go ahead and strip. Normally, this box would be in a different location. It would be further away than the other box, so I might wait to strip this to when I got to that location, but they're so close, we might as well do them now. My Romex is stripped on all my cables. Now I have to prepare the wire ends to accept the devices. That's the next step. So I've got all my connections made. Let's review this circuit from the beginning to the end. Remember, we have our 14.2 coming in. That's bringing power in. I've got uh, a hot conductor and a neutral and a ground. We're gonna deal with our ground first. We made a pigtail to our light switch terminal. That's our green terminal. I also have two gold terminals. One black wire's coming in, running to this switch, and then one's going out, running to our light. So that, this gold terminal goes to this gold terminal on our light socket. Here's my neutral, that's my white wire. Keep in mind that our neutral wires don't have anything to do with our switch, so they carry through this box with a two-wire spliced connection, and they carry to our light socket, and they terminate there. There is no ground lug or terminal on this light socket, so my ground wire is not used. So in a nutshell, that is our working circuit. You're now ready to evaluate and test this circuit to see how well you did.